to Beth's Kitchen and Garden. Today I'm over on the plot which um, still has a little bit of something going on so I thought I would show you um, what is growing over here and um, what I've still got left to move and how the plot is, is looking at this time of year. If we start at the top that was going to be the flower section I've um, I've still got to take these surrounds out. I'm going to leave the flowers there because they'll have a lovely um, show in the spring, and the um, the tulips are coming in now, so it'll be nice for people who walk past to uh, to see the flowers. I've still got my comfrey here. I've uh, got five comfrey plants um, that needs moving back to. Um, my garden. I don't know if I'll take all five because I'm not sure I need all five as my plot isn't that big. But we'll come round to the purple sprouting broccoli which is doing very very well actually. This is the best I've ever grown it. Um, so I don't know what I did different apart from putting uh, some manure in the planting pocket but it is doing very very well and I'm going to harvest as much of it as I can today what with the uh, current climate I need to um, take as much of the food as I can because there's not much in the shops at the moment and uh, if I come round to here again the kale has um, started to bolt put up a flower stalk so I shall strip as much of the kale that is edible and take that home with me today and freeze it. The kale's done as well and all the um, all the sprouts have gone now. I just need um, a couple. Oh, there are some on there, on that one there. So maybe I'll harvest them and then I just need to remove the, um, the plants. Just switching to voiceover now as uh, the wind was too bad and this part I've taken up the uh, pathways as I showed you before but I thought it was worth showing you again because you can see where the pathways are and where the weeds on the bed have grown. So the black fabric really does work but I have got a bit more to pull up yet. Again this bed I need to take the wood away and take it home. But I have got some leeks growing in here, uh, which I won't be harvesting because they're not all that big at the moment. They can grow on for a little bit longer as I, I've got a couple more in the beds over there. And in my carrot section down here, I did pull some up to see what was going on, but they're just very, um, very thin and they are long-ish but there's just not much carrot there so at the moment they are no good really for um for doing much with so i'm at the top now of what was the raised bed section i've removed quite a lot of the wood from the beds i've just got that last row to do now so i've got a lot of wood to take back and I've still got some leeks, which I'll be harvesting a few of these today. I might clear all the leeks out of this bed. And um, the Swiss chard is... I, I'm not going to take any more of that. I think that's gone over a bit now. And uh, another bed of Swiss chard. But I thought it was worth showing the difference between the Nordig beds, raised beds, and the ordinary beds where I just cleared the um, the soil that was there to grow in. So that's the amount of weeds in the same sort of time. So that's the raised beds uh, almost finished now. And um, a mycelariac patch. That's... Uh, I still got some good old celeriac in here. The uh, a decent size on some of those. But I'm gonna harvest quite a lot of these now. Take them home and process them. Um just really so that 
I haven't got to keep coming over and getting things. My asparagus bed, which is here, um, I still need to move the asparagus, but um, I am going to do that imminently. My priority is to shift the fruit trees down there, um, which we'll get to in a minute. The rhubarb, uh, this is this is just shot up in the last couple of days, really. It was it was more like that middle one when I was over here about five days ago, and now it's turned into this giant mammoth. So we'll harvest a fair amount of this rhubarb today as well. And finally, I've taken runners from these raspberry plants, um, which you'll have seen in my last vlog. And these are the three apple trees that I have left to move. Um, this one is just coming into bud. This one is actually coming into leaf. And this one is uh, dormant, fairly dormant at the moment. So I think I shall leave this one and move these two when I get the chance. And I also need to move these grapes, which I think I'm going to grow in pots rather than um, in the ground at home. Uh, and that way I can I can build a big pot for them. And um, I'll explain more about that when I come to doing it. So that's what's going on on the plot today. I'm going to go and harvest um, some of, some of the purple sprouting broccoli and kale now and the celeriac and rhubarb and I'll show you um, what I've got when I've finished. So we now have our harvest ready to go home. A stalk of rhubarb being modelled by Anwen. Say hello Anwen. Hello. So if we come here we've got a humongous bag of rhubarb there. We've got some leeks celeriac and purple sprouting broccoli there and a big bag of kale there so what i'll do is i'll get take these home and i'll um, put a photo on the screen to show you what they look like once i've cut off all the foliage i want to take the foliage home with me so i can put it in my um, hot bin composter to try and get as much compost as possible so i'll put the photo on now Ta -da! and um, that's it from me for today all i can say about the harvest and the plot is lovely job <laughs>